It is Monday, April 24th. I'm in Tulum for this guy's wedding. What's up? There he That's is. Right. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five days to go. We are chilling, enjoying life. Look at this view, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but the ocean is right there. We're about to go snorkeling. And uh, actually, he's going diving because he's like a scuba diver. That's right. Like legit. We're going into a uh, into a cenote. I woke up this morning and I was 87 or something. Next time was like 87. I'm 77 right now. I took 1.5 for the dive phenomenon. I'm going to probably eat this mame. Maybe bring a uh, mango or two. And that's going to be breakfast. <laughs> snorkeling place very close I took a little too much for the dawn phenomenon again I did 1.5 today so I'm snacking on a banana Dexcom says I'm 71 this is a good banana wow we're at this place getting all set up and then they're gonna drive us to cenote, cenote. it's 847 so I'm gonna do all this swimming so I'm just gonna be super conservative I do not want to go low while I am out snorkeling I won't have the dates with me so I got all this mame and bananas right here so I'm just gonna inject like four units which is that's crazy low I'm gonna go with four units that should be safe. I'm gonna eat all that fruit and then I'll chest myself before I go in the water. We'll do 3.5. Okay, so I'm eating the mame right now. This is one of the greatest fruits on the planet. It's so good. So I just injected and I'm eating right away. I'm not waiting. Uh, I'm already a little bit low and I really want to get higher. Now I'm moving on to bananas. And I'm starting to get even a little nervous at 3.5. May have been too much, but I brought dates. So we'll see what happens and I'll definitely test before I get in the water. We have arrived at the snorkeling destination. Dax Gun says I'm 162 and going up. Let's see exactly how high it is right now. Again, this is like day day like 10 of the Dexcom, so you know it's you can't expect it to be super reliable when you're using it beyond what the company tells you to use it. 150. Wow, I only took 3.5 units. I'll probably snack on a few more dates just to be safe. Okay, so we're about to go out. I can't, I'm not gonna bring my phone. Um, I'm not gonna bring my insulin kit. So I'm gonna eat like eight or nine dates just to be safe. I'll be super high, but it's all good. I'm gonna be moving in the water. Where do you go? In the water. Right at the back cave. Be safe. I'm 29. Okay, we're doing good. The dates that I had beforehand was key, so I'm happy with that. Okay, Descom says I was shooting up, and I tested myself, I was 181. So I'm gonna take 1.5 to correct this situation. So we are at fruit market number one. We were biking around yesterday. We know what's going on, where the good stuff is. So we got a taxi guy. He's gonna drive us to all the stands and we're gonna go big today. We're excited. So this is Sapodilla, also known as Chico Sapote. And this is a different variety than we'll see at a couple other markets. I can tell by the, the skin is super smooth. Mame Sapote right here, Manzano bananas, Tulfo mangoes, Heidi mangoes. And these are Manalias. Manalias. This is called the scratch test, okay? When you're buying Mame, you do a little scratch. That is green. That will not ripen. You need it to be deep red. Okay, so I'm not buying that one. Now this one already has some soft and give. That one's gonna be good. This one has a little too much give. I'm not gonna buy that. You don't want air pocket. We're great. And they don't know. They don't know right now. <laughs> it's okay, we're grateful for when it does know. We're buying some more mame here. See how that, see that color on there? That's a successful scratch test. Dexcom, looking for an update? We're gonna update it. 131. 
I'm happy with that. The 1.5 correction after the snorkeling and when the Dexcom said it was going up, when I tested and I was 180, that 1.5 correction was good. I'm hungry. I can't wait to get back, grab all this food, and we're gonna have a feast. We're back. We're super excited. I'm, I'm ready to eat. So we got all this food. I know I got uh, mame that's ripe. I know I have mangoes that are ripe. So I'm gonna do some calculations and take some insulin. Dexcom says I'm at 111 right now. Feeling good about that. I'm just gonna inject 7.5. I'm gonna go 7.5 right now. I'm really hungry and I'm gonna be eating some dense fruit. So I'm gonna have mame and mangoes, maybe a couple bananas, but I'm gonna measure all out as I eat it and then I'll figure out what the ratio was afterwards and then decide if I need more food or more insulin. So we gotta tear the scale, put it all on here, put this in the compost bag. Mame is a very dense fruit. Tara, what does mame taste like? Mm. Mame sapote is like sweet potato with pumpkin, with cherry, with maybe a hint of almond. That sweet, amazing deliciousness. It's so good, guys. It's really one of the, it's just, I can't even, it's so good. I'm gonna add some mango here. I'll munch on that, measure the scraps, and then I'll calculate the numbers and see how many carbs they had. So lunch ended up being 229 grams of carbs. So divide that by 7.5, it was a 31 to 1 ratio. And I felt pretty good about that. Dexcom's been pretty solid right there. So I'm gonna do uh, a check right now just to make sure it's not going up too much. The meter says 103, so I'm good. At some point, it's gonna start creeping up a little bit probably. I don't know if I'm gonna do a snack or when I'm gonna eat dinner. So Cyrus just comes up to me while I'm working on the computer. He's like, hey, you wanna work out? Uh, yeah, of course. I tested myself. I'm 100. Dexcom says I'm 109 going down. This is a time when usually, kind of like you're in insulin drought. It's getting close to dinner. I haven't taken insulin for a while. So, you know, I might like take a little insulin and have a little snack. But I'm actually feeling confident that it's gonna be okay if I just do nothing. So I'm just gonna work out and maybe have a date or two if I feel like I'm going low or something, but uh, I'm not gonna do anything, and we'll see what happens. Back from the workout, just tested myself. The meter says I'm 66. Dexcom says I'm 62, so I'm still pretty happy with the accuracy of the Dexcom. I'm gonna keep it in. I'm gonna eat real soon. So I'm gonna take four units, Humalog for dinner. I will inject 15 Lantus. I'm gonna stick with 15 Lantus right now. That's what I did yesterday. It worked well today. And then I'm gonna enjoy a beautiful dinner. The sun is starting to set here. I just cut up this mango. It was 342 grams. So because I started out at 66, I'm gonna eat that right away, right now but the insulin I injected isn't gonna work immediately. It's gonna kick in a little bit. So this is part of the whole insulin timing game. It's a fun game. You practice, you get better. Everybody's unique. You have to work on this through experience. So just cut up my second bowl of mango, 694 grams right there. So I'll start snacking on that while I cut up some papaya. I got cut up papaya, 560 grams. It's looking good. Look at the color on that. Tara is sharing some of her mame. I'm gonna measure that out and then that'll be everything and I'll calculate the carbs. Okay, quick update here. We're gonna go out with a group of people here that are here for the wedding. So I wanted to eat a bunch of fruit before I went. So that's what I'm doing here. That's what dinner is. I calculated the carbs in this cool app called Neutrino. It was 182, so I took four units. It's a 45 to one ratio, so I'm good with that. Dexcom has me right there. I'm actually happy with that. We should be just fine. We'll see what's on the menu at this restaurant. I ordered a plate of just raw vegetables. Extra cauliflower, love it. I'm back at the hotel. We had a great dinner. Just to myself, I'm 134. And the Dexcom says 142, so still pretty accurate. And I'm gonna take uh, 0.5 units before going to bed. 